Hello, I am Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Civilization 5 as Rome. So today we'll have to start by solving this little problem that Darius prepared for us at the end of the previous episode. Uh, he sent quite a few units and especially his cruisers now will be an interesting challenge to overcome, but uh, we'll see what we can do. Before that though, there are two things I would like to quickly talk about. Uh, first, uh, from time to time there's uh, like comments showing up about the pace of this series. Uh, I'm not saying like negative or positive, just saying that they're showing up and I would like to answer them. Uh, well, yes, the pace of the game slowed down a lot at this point, but there is a reason for that, right? Uh, Darius is right now the strongest Civ on the map, and uh, on top of that, he happens to be a tech leader, so uh, some of his units at least have a technological advantage. He has Gatling guns, he has cruisers right now, and there are probably some other upgrades coming uh, that I don't even want to think about yet. So if I want to have a chance to win this war, I have to give myself time every turn to think about what I want to do, make sure that I'm not making stupid mistakes, start losing units, and, um, well, that would just uh, basically lose, uh, lose me the war and lose me the game as well. Uh, I can't, like, play fast and without mistakes. I'm not that good. So until we manage to break Darius, which basically means, uh, like kill all the units that he managed to build up during the 15 turns of the previous peace treaty this uh the game will be slower but i'm pretty sure when we vassalize darius then the game should speed up at least for some time until we get maybe to japan or Carthage. because uh, except of these two the other others are quite weak even greece isn't that strong uh he he is a, like he has 46 tax so he's second when it comes to that but he's prioritizing non-military tax it seems so we should be able to like run through him quite easily at least compared to how the current war looks like uh, so that's one thing <clears throat> that which is which uh, takes us to the, the second thing which will hopefully partially compensate uh, for the slower pace Yesterday I completed the Thea series, which means for next few days, basically until I start the new Thea series, uh, I'll be able to record two videos of uh, Civ 5 every day, so that's like next four days, something like that. Uh, so that should help us to progress through the game a little bit more, so if you have time for next, I don't know, three, four days, there will be... Uh, two episodes to watch every day we'll see how far it will uh, will get us in the game during the weekend basically so that's that and now we can focus on the game i already moved some units i want to use the heal from the admiral on our damaged ships so i grouped up the uh, ships that took the most damage here in the center uh we'll heal them we can probably start with the healing right now or healing repairs so you can see there was quite a few hit points that we uh, gained that way there are still three ships that I wasn't able to repair but uh, well it's not a big deal they are in actually four ships there's one as well but they're in decent ish shape um, now when we are here let's uh, uh, move some of these ships a little bit better position i want to have my frigates closer to the front line there i don't want to go closer because of this cruiser one two three four five he has five movement points so if he wants to fight he'll have to come to us and he won't be able to shoot this turn so i'm trying to like the lower the damage that darius can do every turn um next thing here. Last time I almost forgot about our Zeppelin, but uh, someone reminded me in comments and I actually noticed him as well when I stopped recording last time. So uh, this is actually a pretty useful weapon that we have in the desert that we'll be able to use against these units. Um, I just need to get some more Zeppelins, which we're gonna do in a second. Because what we can do, they are ranged. I keep forgetting that Zeppelins are ranged units, which is just in the desert with their movement, that's huge. Right, we can just shoot, move back, they can't reach us, and next turn rinse and repeat all that we need to be a bit more effective are like two three more zeppelins which i will get right now 
I'll get them in the Rome because the Rome is the only city right now that has uh, uh, military academy, so we'll get the maximum amount of experience. And I'm doing this because I have to make sure that we get uh, two promotions so that we get the extra movement through desert. These will be our desert warriors crushing everything they run into because like the AI will never be able to catch them. So, next three turns, probably two or three turns, we will be buying Zeppelins in the capital. It sucks that we can, can't buy more than one every turn. Really buy just three right now if I could, but as I said, I want to keep buying them in the capital because I want the promotions. So, Trailblazer 1, Trailblazer 2, yep, that's what we want. And next turn again. Yep, we have to wait. <clears throat> I can't buy too many because we have to keep the uh, the money for upgrades. Uh, we are not making that much money, so we have to make sure we can upgrade at least a few uh, Corvettes once we get the Iron Clouds. And is, was, I think there was one more thing that I wanted to do. Uh, oh, I wanted to try something with the worker. Let's see if this finally works. Well, he started working. Because I remember like a long time ago, and I mean like long time ago, that was years ago, when I tried to rebuild roads into railroads with the order that I just used. It uh, just didn't work properly. The The worker built one tile and then got stuck. It was probably bugged. So let's see if it works now, if it's possible to build railroads um, like automatically or semi-automatically that I don't have to give the order on every tile. Hmm... Okay, our ships can just sit here. That's the only way how we can fight him right now. We have to wait for his ships to come to us. Now, we have some city bombardment that we can use. So that's one attack. Let's see if our musket men have the damage to take out the... Was it Corvette? Frigate? Whatever. Ship. So that's one. And then we have here. So which one should I hit? How the heck is the field gun more tanky than a Fusilier? Oh, okay, I have to get through the Fusilier to be able to get to the field gun. Might as well hit it. Mm, next, you are moving up. Yeah, it's fine. It's nice that there are more units coming. It's just more Golden Age points. Just not sure that I have enough damage every turn to kill them. We'll move aside, because I want to move, let's see, we all go back, and now we have four attacks, one, two, three, four, okay, so that's one thing. Now we have to do something about the field gun, about the other field gun, and about this fusilier, ideally. And we also have this cruiser that we probably have to run away from. <clears throat> How far can this field gun go? Here. This tile should be fine for the field gun, should be safe. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, now, this cavalry can attack. So let's hit this guy. I just moved back for now, I have to make some more room for it. Checking if we have logistics somewhere. Yeah. 
if I do this, I might be able to then run back. 2.75, 1.7, I should be. Yeah, I can't run far enough. Where can you go now? Again, far enough. That's all I need. Look how much damage the cavalry is doing, even to the field gun. So these are done. You guys can switch. Come on. Thinking about moving the field gun, but it would be probably too risky. Okay, so that's another kill. I'll also have to move this field gun away, which means I have to move this one. Uh, move back, move back. There, I can't afford to leave units on the coast here. If I lose uh, a musket man on the coast, okay, so be it. But I definitely don't want to lose a field gun. How many more attacks do we have? Three. So I probably won't be able to kill the Fusilier. And how far can you run? Move back. Just don't have enough tiles where to retreat. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, don't tell me that this is not the kill. Sure it's not. Ah, uh, what two hit points? Sure it's two hit points. Great. Really, I don't have the last shot. You're not fast enough. I don't have any lancers. Oh well. He's gonna make it. Okay, fine, so be it. I, mean, I could do this, get the kill, but then if there are Gatling guns in behind, uh, I'm gonna lose the field gun, and that's just not worth it. I'd be willing to risk my uh, my musket man, but not the field gun. So now we can just fortify, 
Uh, you can probably swap. Just get ready. Can I move you closer somehow? Nope. Okay, anything else? Let's make sure I didn't forget anything. Uh... No, I didn't. <clears throat> okay, next. Hello? I said next. Oh, more workers. What's it gonna be? Well, we are all alive. Hmm. Cruisers are in the range. I think this Gatling gun will live, is out of reach. I need a railroad on this tile. These two should go down, this one should go down, this one has to go down. And if we can kill these two as well, then we are in pretty good shape here. We almost lost the, uh, the musket man, but almost is fine. Napoleon declared on Bismarck and Napoleon declared on Bodica. Sure, at least it's gonna keep them busy. Um, we want the AIs to fight among each other as much as possible, it just slows down their progress. So that once we get to them, it will be easy to take them out. Uh, you'll get Dreadnought 2. And move north as far as fast as possible. You will be moving this way. Uh, let's take him out. I'll go back. I can take out this one, because why not? Now, cavalry. There. More logistics. Excellent. Border growth. Yeah, this is another tile we want to improve. That's more production for Arpinum. Um, copper to Napoleon. Copper to Ramses. Sure, let's get those trades back. So would you pay eight? You would. What about nine? That's a bit too greedy. There we go. The other one was Ramsey's right. Same thing. Would you pay eight? You would. Good boy. This is interesting. He's trying to land units here now. Yeah, I know the world is now protecting Bogota, whatever. And uh, how are we doing? So we can hit that. And we can hit probably the Gatling gun. Production completed chancery, so next we want Military Academy. This is Ravenna. Um Let's get the quick caravan, sorry. Okay. One more thing. Actually, two more things. Here, I accidentally cancelled this musician's guild. Mm. 
where do we start? I think we start right here. Uh, one, two, three. How many attacks? Wait, I can actually kill this frigate with my land units. Uh, you're gonna need a lot of healing. Let's pull back. It was actually a mistake. I should have just moved into the city. Oh, whatever. Okay, so that's one dead ship. You have to move back. Let's do that. Let's move back all the units. They can't stay in the front line because that will give us a better idea of what we can or how we can move. One, two, three. Is this a kill? No. I hope you can get all the way to Zohak. You can. Perfect. Wait. Who's going to be the next target? Has to be this Lancer because that is blocking my movement. So you will have to step aside. Let's see how far can I move now. Okay, one more. Is it one more attack? And give me a second, I have to check my cat, she's sneezing or whatever she's doing. I'll be right back. Okay, I apologize for that. One of the usual cat problems, a hair stuck on the nose that they can't get rid of. They make the most insane noises sometimes. <laughs> Seems like they're having a heart attack or something. And all you have to do is just wipe it away. Okay, uh, what are you doing? Killing a Lancer. Is this a kill? It should be. Excellent. Can you move? I can't move far enough. Well, this will have to do. The important part is that we can replace that guy. Now. Uh, let's actually wait. I'm thinking, can I move you into the forest? I can, but let's wait with that. How many attacks from the cavalry we still have? Quite a few, actually. Yep, 
here. It will be only one. I wouldn't be able to retreat far enough. I hate that I have to retreat so far that I'm not sitting on the railroad anymore. But well. First I have to get rid of the wrench units, then I can start moving forward again. Okay. Move back. What am I gonna do with this one? Let's wait. First, we have to check what we can do about these cruisers. So let's do some scouting. There are two more ships, three more ships, probably four more ships. I have to wait for them. They're still too far for me. I mean, I can move this line forward. But the farther f north I move, the easier it will be for them to attack, retreat. Let's see, they can... Two, three, attack, move one tile back. How much damage can I do? Not enough. No, 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 I will have to wait here. Or I killed one cruiser. Would it make any difference? Question is, can I kill a cruiser with four attacks? Don't think so. No, let's just wait. That means I can't move a unit to the coast. Which means you'll have to run back, you'll go here, hit the city, and that's it. Uh, okay, you will have to move forward. Can I find one more fusilier? Let's see. They move a unit here to attack him. Okay, fine. We just have one more unit to kill then. Wait. Go. Two, three, four, five. They can probably kill one of our corvettes now. Depends if the AI finds a way how to focus enough attacks. But I'm honestly more afraid of the musketmen on the coast. So what's it gonna be? But now we are trading one of our musketmen for his uh, cruisers. Now I will take them out.
Okay. Another policy that's gonna be a regimental system. We want to get our generals especially faster. And well, admirals will be useful as well for all the healing. I want this tile here. And we have a musician skill. Can I look both? No. So unhappy. Checking if we can get some more food from buildings. We can get the grocery, that will help. So the city will get to size 15. Which is more or less where I want it to be so that I can work with one, war, one more scientist that we get uh, from... Um, how is it called? Public schools. But... Military Academy first. What's that? And, well, here we just ran out of decent tiles to work. Whatever. Sure, there's probably no point in working the forge. Let's work the bank. How long would it take to get the merchant? Oh, too long. Okay, Constable, let's queue up the military academy already. Oh, and one more, great. the mine. Are we working this tile? No, we are not. buildings are missing. Is this gonna make any difference? It is. Sure, let's get the production then. Keep moving. We need those uh, zeppelins in the desert as soon as possible. Fine. Cruisers. Maybe moving the the Admiral would be a good idea. What if I just kill him this way? Thank you. 
we go. Okay. We don't need you here, but this I'll be in bombardment range. Okay, I'll just stay like this then. Now should be able to take out the Gatling gun as well. So let's see. some healing how many shots do I still have here Find one more. Well, I can, but then I won't be able to retreat, I think. Or will I? Okay. Uh, I'll be fine here for one more turn. We can hit the city. I just need to heal everything. Good. What are you doing here? Except that you are not doing anything. Oh, we don't have a railroad. Let's get that. Fortify, fortify. How much money do we have? 4,400. I think now we have to stop stop buying Zeppelins and uh, save the money for Ironclads. I'm not sure how expensive those upgrades will be. Let's make sure that we have enough. Next.
Okay, good. I'm glad that Greece is uh, like making sure they can't lose Almaty because if somehow Darius managed to flip the city state and we suddenly had these units on our flank, that would be quite uh, annoying. There. Ah. Come on, Japan. What's taking so long? Are you fighting? Or how many people are? It's just us. Why does it take so long? Still 74 influence, yeah, that's not gonna happen. How does it look like with this quest? You have 94 followers, 4 turns remaining, so we should get this. If I want to take control again, at least for a few turns, I need to have my frigates closer. There. See, I don't have to attack again. Everything back to safety. We all move back. And now we can bombard the city. I hope that he's running out of field guns and gatling guns that he can send to the border. Because I hate that he's hitting my field guns here. Okay, 
anyone else healthy enough to rejoin the fight? Oh, close enough. Okay, so you are done. You seem to be done as well. There is a ship. Let's one, two, three, four, five. Let's leave our ships here. Wait, wait. Okay, so this is complete. I should probably leave one worker in the RL here for now. How does it look like with our next general? We are almost there. Watch how the AI is just gonna lose the, the Kerasir. Hmm. Oh, you want to peace out? Sure, I'll peace out with you. Good. Oh, we'll get some trades back next turn. May I lose a ship? No, 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 no. I definitely want to get some of your cities before we peace out. What the heck? Well, I didn't expect that. He will just kill a Fusilier from 100 to 0. Okay, sure. The biggest problem uh, with those two units that we lost is that... Uh, it increases our war weariness. Let's stop this and instead I'll get one more Zeppelin. Okay, these are some interesting icons I have not seen before. Strength against cities. Nope. Steel gold got 100% damage dealt on the city. Uh, keeping at city's defense times 10, 25% defense against ranged attacks. Nope. Dauntless is interesting. The flat damage reduction. I may go for that. Press gangs. I mean, it's nice. Boarding party, vanguard. 100% combat strength versus cities. Damage from this reduced by 50%. That's interesting. Damage per adjacent enemy unit. Deal 16 damage to all enemy units adjacent to a unit killed by this unit. That is also interesting, but I think I'll just go for the Dauntless.
Okay, well, let's uh, check how it looks like around here. I'd love to blockade the city. Two turns for industrialization. One, two, three, attack. So that's one. That's two. Let's move you out of city bombardment range. Uh, let me read the social policy again. The Great General and a Great Admiral Combat Bonus Aura is increased by 10%. It's reduced by one tile. So by sitting here, we should have all these ships covered. I just need to m move in with more ships. Um, can I find... One, two, three, four, five. No, that's not close enough. Wanted to move a Corvette here, but I don't think I have one that is healthy. Let's try with this one. Okay, so reinforcements can't come, come from this side. We'll have to somehow handle the bombardment from the land units, but, well, we have like 150 hit points on each corvette. And we have quite a few extra corvettes now, so let's see if we can survive always for one turn. And we have the Admiral to help. Uh, let's make sure nothing can get to this one. You can go closer. And I think that's it. So, fortify. Blockade the city from the other side. Now we want to take out that stupid cavalry there. So, one. It's actually quite tanky. That is a general. Perfect.
we can stay there for like two turns or if we can like stay here without losing units right if we take a lot of damage then we have to rotate dead ships fine that's that's perfect even if they drop to one hit point i don't care it's just important that we don't lose units um then that, that should speed uh speed up the siege a lot i'll probably have to kill the ranchers that are sitting on the coast but then i might be able to start bombarding the city at least with some of the frigates also, we need two turns to get iron clouds, which will like make this so much safer. Okay, another musician's guild. So let's lock one. Can I lock one more? Yep, good. We even work we are even working at forge you're gonna need the garden with that guild let's build the mine and now we end the turn let me check city state quests quickly uh engineer we get next turn what they will reward the player with the largest culture growth. So far, you have a lead with 2,000. Are we really making the most culture per turn? Because this is not because of a, a, a writer. If we pop the writer, the, just the writer would be like 8,000. So we are really making most culture per turn, it seems. Wow. They want us to liberate Antwerp. Yeah, it's not gonna happen for a while. This is not gonna happen. Glass. Can we get glass somewhere? Anybody selling glass? Wait. Uh, we can trade with Germany. You pay six, you would. What about seven? No. Also, this is something that we want. Propose. Also, Japan. What about you? No, you are not willing to talk even. How do we have minus one war score? What happened? Okay, next. I don't see any Japanese units. Maybe he just killed one random scout from Vancouver before we lost control over it. Because we don't have any, or never had any other city-state allies. Interesting. <clears throat> okay, fingers crossed. Can't afford to lose units here. If we can just sit here without losses, then Zohak should be ours, actually. Yep, that's fine. He moved in with more range units, which is quite unfortunate. But he moved away from here with those units. So actually, those units that were here moved behind the uh, Ishtaker. There, industrialization. Perfect. Great engineer, so that's a city state quest completed and promotion, so it's gonna be dreadnought. Extra movement for you. Why would Ramses declare war? Oh, whatever. Well, it's probably just the bug. Okay. 
Okay, I think it's time to make a cut here again. I'll have to check the situation, but it looks good. Um, now we can get, well, some upgrades. I'll try to get as many as possible. Once we replace these blockading corvettes with ironclads, that's almost guaranteed that he won't be able to kill those ironclads in one turn, which is all that we need. Then we focus. Now when there are no range units on the coast, I don't care about it. I, I don't care about uh, melee units here. We can focus all the attacks on the city. And instead of doing like 50 damage that every turn, we should be doing over 100. That will be a pretty noticeable difference. Okay, so we are done for today. Next time, I think next time we should be able to take the city unless something unexpected happens. Um, so as usual, I hope that you like this episode. I hope that you're going to join me next time again. And until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.